All right, so kind of taking a break from um, tap, tap wrenches and thumb wheels for the day. And I've been kind of messing with this um, oh, this hub for the pulley for the John Deere 400 again. And it just got me thinking. As much as I really wanted to just have one lathe to do everything, I just don't know that that's going to be terribly practical. I mean, it's hard to compare these two different machines. I mean, this thing's, from what I can tell, it's supposed to be nearly 4,000 pounds, and this thing's supposed to be around about 1,200 pounds the way it's configured. And I mean, it's just, it's night and day, the difference in how they operate. I mean, this feels more like slinging a big sledgehammer, and this feels more like, I don't know, working with a 16-ounce hammer. I mean, I can, I can put larger pieces of stock on this and turn it, but, I mean, it goes without saying, it just doesn't have the same level of rigidity as this big Hindi does. I wish I could get you far, far, far enough away from it to show the front of both the lathes, but... It just, it just won't work out that way, but, I mean, there's, there's been other videos of the Hindi before, so, you guys have, you know, had a chance to see them in the past. I just, um, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to, if I had to pick one or the other, it'd be very, very difficult to do so. Uh, one of the procedures I was doing on this thing earlier today was uh, drilling and drilling this mild steel to 15 16 of an inch getting ready to bore it and I mean it just goes in like it's butter these are both two horsepower motors on both of these machines but this one it, I mean literally it, it feels like it could take an arm off I, I, I don't doubt it the way it's the way it's geared that one, the, the Logan, I could stall it out without blinking an eye. If, if I were to get hung up on it, I, don't, would, I wouldn't be overly worried. I'd, I'd be very, very sore. I'm pretty sure this one, this one could take a life, even, even with just a two-horsepower motor. If it was turning slow RPM and I couldn't reach a stop button in time, it, it could do some serious damage. And I, it just it shows turning these bigger pieces of metal and doing these deeper, heavier cuts. It's just, it doesn't bog down. If I get my, my RPM set correctly on it, it doesn't even flinch. It just bears down and cuts and cuts and cuts. I mean, you know, but at the same time, the Logan has variable speed that I could just change on the fly. So, I don't know. I... I've got a lot of thinking to do, but it really, it almost seems like the more logical thing to do would be to have, to keep both machines long term. And the other thing is, you know, there are times every once in a great while where it'd be nice to just have a piece of material chucked up on this doing a procedure and, you know, get to some other little oddball part that I needed to do on the opposite lathe. So, I mean, I can, I can totally see it. It would definitely be a convenient thing to, to keep them both around. I just, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Anyways, I figured I'd uh, share those little bits of thought with you guys. <laughs>